So we have here, um, here is a jar of finger candy um, versus like just dismembered body parts. Which one do you find spookier? I find the finger candy more spooky. The, the, the body parts don't look real. Those fingers look kind of real. And the fact that they're kind of in, 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 in being held in some sort of red liquid adds to it. Yeah, I, I'd say that's the spookier candy and I would probably eat them first. They're a little more esoteric. You have spooky spiders, which are sour. Some people think sour candy's weird versus this very realistic looking spider lollipop. Yeah, I mean, what I, what I would eat this the spooky spiders because I love a, I love a sour candy. I love a Sour Patch Kid. Uh, I love all that sour. I want that back of that. I want that back of that mouth. But that other spider that is seemingly a lollipop vibe is 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 creep. Yeah, that's creepier. It's a creepier. The the dark purple makes it look like a poisonous candy. Um, so this one, you know, two very not spooky things. You got C's chocolate ghosts, and um, what are those called? Peeps ghosts. Peeps. Well, I as a child, I ate uh, an entire box of Peeps around Easter and then puked them all up, uh, pink and green. So I find Peeps incredibly spooky because of my own personal history with them, um, and and I I find the the lack of definable features on that m creepier. Like the, the C's candies are silly. There's nothing scary about them. They just look like delicious milk chocolate. But those, mm -hmm. but those, like if I were to make a, a horror movie, I might make my ghosts look like that. Cause they're just, there's an ambiguous amorphous quality to them that is freaky. We got the candy eyes versus the sprinkle mix which features tiny bloody eyes and bones. You know, those bones, they look like doggy bones, so that all somehow doesn't scare me as much. Uh, the, the eyes sprinkled amongst sprinkles is is sort of scary. Um, the Those eyes on the left, the bloodshot is, is frightening. I'll say the bloodshot on that is, is spooky. Um, but, I, you know, once you tear off that packaging, I'll pop, I'll pop four of them in my mouth. You know what actually, actually makes me feel spooky is I would probably get so hungry I'd eat them with the tin foil on and then you know if you have fillings and you bite down on anything with foil and it like shocks your mouth so uh, that that's actually spooky me that's that's spooky to me uh, pumpkin pie Kit Kat versus zombie skittles yeah pumpkin pie Kit Kat I would eat I mean I love a Kit Kat I'm a big fan of a Kit Kat although I'm not a I don't have an issue people get so worked up about pumpkin spice I I'm, I'm indifferent to pumpkin spice, to be frank. Uh, zombie Skittles, most taste delicious, but some taste like rotten zombie. <laughs> Dare to try? Okay, that's spooky. I don't want to. I don't want to try rotten zombie Skittle. If I'm gonna eat Skittles, I don't want to. I'm not gonna roll the dice. You know what I mean? So I don't. I don't want to taste the zombie. What happens if? Because if you if a zombie bites you, you become a zombie. But if you bite a zombie, do you? Does a zombie become, maybe that's the key to beating zombies is we bite them. I remember the night Wednesday was born. It was a Tuesday. She was silent as a jellyfish. And I put all the babies back where I found them. Huh? I think. 